In this video, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on the new Moto G Stylus 5G 2023. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We're going to be going over some tips and tricks on your new Moto D Stylus 5G 2023. Some of these you may know, some of them not, but if you have any more tips and tricks, let everyone know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. So I feel like the first tip I would uh, tell anybody who just picked up this phone and is kind of a beginner with Motorola and stuff like that, there's this Moto application right here that shows you tons of different information and you can personalize your device. It shows you the gestures such as chop for flashlight, of course, three fingers for screenshot. We also have our Moto Secure right here to protect your digital life as well, which is great to see. We have some tips inside of here for any new users, some display and our gaming mode as well. But the coolest one I feel like is of course the gestures and personalize. So once you get inside of your phone, you may wanna actually change these first. So when you uh, set up your phone, you can actually change your theme, change your wallpapers, change your fonts, your icon shape, your colors, your display size, your layout, your peak display, since we have peak display. Man, it's just all of those uh, different things that you can customize inside of this as soon as you boot up your new G Stylus 5G. So that uh, that is the first tip in this video. The next tip in this video is going to have to do with the stylus. Now, when you pop your stylus out of your device, you're going to have a set of different applications. As you guys can see, you have taking notes, you have your screenshot, your Google Keep, your GIF maker, and of course your calculator. Now, what's really cool is if you would like to, you can click on the setting right here and you can actually change your shortcuts. So for some reason, if you don't want your GIF maker or your keep notes in there, you can add another three different applications. So let's say, we want our calculator, we want Call of Duty Mobile, and we want our contacts inside of here. Now, once you set those in here, all you have to do is back out of this. And uh, as you guys can see, if we hit that right there, um, it's going to have those two applications in there. We can load them straight from that little toggle with the stylus. Our next tip is going to be about the sound on this device and if you guys have been using this device for a second, it's probably been a pretty good experience as far as acoustics, bass, sound, vibration, all of that. It's just a really good speaker on this device. You of course have stereo speakers, you have one at the bottom and you have one in the headset. Now if you guys want to get a little bit of a different type of feel with the speaker, we actually have Dolby Atmos inside of here and if we actually click on that, we can click settings and we can change the sound depending on what we're doing. So we have smart audio right here. So this basically identifies the content and performs automatic adjustments to deliver the best sound. Uh, and for a lot of people, you may wanna keep that on there, but we also have music. We also have movie mode. We also have game mode. We also have podcast and we have custom. So if you guys know about sound and decibels and different stuff like that, depending on what you want, you can actually use the graphic equalizer to the sound you hear. So if you want more bass, you want more trouble listening to music with your earbuds, this is going to be a good way to set that uh, to the custom options that you want. But for most people, I feel like smart audio is going to be fine. Next tip is going to be utilizing the NFC inside this device. Now, if you guys did not know, your Moto G Stylus 5G is capable of holding your membership cards for whatever gyms you go to. Of course, like if you have a Disney Pass or a Knott's Berry Farm Pass uh, or your credit cards or debit cards, if you go into the drop down bar menu right here, you're gonna have something called wallet and we're gonna go ahead and click on that. This is your Google Wallet. I'm not gonna go inside of here, of course, for privacy reasons. I don't want you guys seeing my cards and such, but if you guys would like to, you can add your plane tickets, your movie tickets, all that different type of stuff. I know I go to Regal usually, and I'll save my movie ticket into my Google Wallet. So it's kind of the same thing as Apple Pay or Apple Wallet or whatever. Uh, it's really cool, really useful. And if you don't wanna have your credit or debit cards in here for whatever reasons, you don't want your cards inside of here, whether you think someone's going to swipe it and get your information, uh, you can always keep things like plane tickets, you know, coupons and um, memberships and stuff like that in here. Now our next tip is going to be in the display. And if you guys don't know about this device already, uh, with this display, we actually do have a 120 Hertz refresh rate. But I noticed when I booted up this phone, it might be different for everybody else. But when I booted up this phone, um, um, the 120 hertz refresh rate was not on. So once you go to settings, go to display, go to display refresh rate, it's currently on auto. You're gonna wanna set it to either auto or 120 hertz. I think it was on 60 when I set this up. So if you guys would like to 
Conserve battery, you can go to 60 hertz as well, but I feel like the best mode is either auto or 120 hertz to get that full experience with that refresh rate. Our next tip is going to be in our camera application, and for whatever reason, I feel like I get this comment all of the time, but if you guys would like to change your resolution on your video, it's gonna be set to 1080p, 30 frames per second, but if you would like to change it to 4K, all you have to do is go ahead and click right here, and it turns to 4K. So I've had a ton of questions about that. Um, and you can also expand this menu as well by clicking that and going to settings if you guys want to go into your AI settings with you know all these different type of gestures. Uh, gesture selfie, you can show your palm to take a selfie. Auto smile capture, it captures a photo when you smile. You have your Google lens and stuff on there, but we have a ton of different things inside of this camera that are just really, really cool as you guys can see. But that is uh, a question that I get probably almost every single day. This next tip is going to be how to change your wallpaper. And in particular, this is an interactive wallpaper that I think you guys should check out. It's really, really cool. So if we hold on the display, as you guys saw right now, we hold on the display, click wallpapers. It's going to take us to this. And if we click on, where is it at? Dynamic, it's going to take us to a bunch of different types of wallpapers. Let's go ahead and click on this one. This is a metallic mirage and we have a bunch of different options to choose from, but these are basically active wallpapers. So let's go and set this wallpaper. Uh, we can set to home screen or home screen and lock screen, which we're gonna do. And as you guys can see, I don't know, this is just super sick, it's super trippy, but every time you go through your applications, you're going to have that going in the background and whenever you tap on it as well, it's gonna be going like that. So that's pretty sick. I don't know about you guys. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but if you guys want that little active display, just go inside of there, pop that on. And last but not least, this is for the families out there, for the adults that have kids or the bigger brothers and bigger sisters that have kids or the uncles or the aunts. But if you go into the drop down bar menu, we are going to have something called family spaces. So if you would like your kid to use your phone but not have them access a bunch of different stuff that you don't want them accessing, whether it's you don't want them visiting sites they shouldn't be, go into family space right here uh, and it says your spaces when you create a space it will show up here get started by creating a space so basically with this is you can set all the applications let's set the calculator Billy wants to do homework and play Call of Duty um, and that those are the only things I want him to do basically let's go ahead and click next after that and let's name the space let's call it Billy's corner so if you want them using your phone and um, and not messing anything up. You can go ahead and set that up. You can put a timer on it. You can have it password required. We're gonna take those off. And your space is created. So let's go and start Billy's Corner. Then you're gonna check which screen time you want. You can do 15, 30, custom. Let's go ahead and click 15. Boop, and start. So this is gonna be protected um, by a password if you guys set it to that and Billy can only use these So you have call of duty and you have calculator can't use anything else until you exit it And you can obviously like I said before set a password to it uh, or your fingerprint So that's really cool and how you get out of that is of course either that or just clicking exit and you're back into your regular phone so those are the tips and tricks I wanted to show you on the new Moto G Stylus 5G 2023. If you guys have any other tips and tricks, which I'm sure you have, let people know in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section down below. Uh, but if you guys are helpful and you wanna help the community out, obviously you guys can answer those questions. I know there's tons of people out there that are, that are cool people like you. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. This has been Stefan from Sakurai. Peace out, Sakang.